We all want to put our best face forward and keeping your skin healthy and young is the best way to do it. Well, Dr. Melanie Palm from the Artist Skin in Solana Beach is here uh, for to show us like ways that we can protect our skin, right, yeah. Melanie? And how to heal sunburn pain right. like this. I'm so I, I, it's so confusing because when people get sunburned, it hurts, it and there's really nothing you can do. Oliver doesn't help fast <laughs> enough, and I don't know what else to do. But I like lather my kids up with sunscreen, mm -hmm. and at some point in the summer, they still get sunburned. Yeah. So I so. mean, obviously, protection and prevention is the first thing when a sunburn kicks in. But there are some things immediately we can do. So I always some of them are a little surprising to patients. So I like to be able to tell you that. So surprisingly, about forty percent of us in any given year gets a sunburn and kiddos it's even higher about 80 percent of them yeah. in a summer actually get a sunburn so it's definitely something we're not doing a good enough job actually protecting ourselves so sunscreen first mm -hmm. and there's actually some sunscreens we've got a few samples here that have antioxidants so those actually have healing powers help with aging antioxidants help squelch free radicals mm -hmm. that are produced from ultraviolet Yay. light <laughs> but in the immediate sort of um, post sunburn when you're starting to feel that pinkness first get out of the sun. Mm -hmm. Second, you actually want to take a little bit of ibuprofen. Really? So, that yeah. helps? It's not only a pain reliever, but it's an anti-inflammatory. Right. So if you're catching it really early, it does actually help with it. And then either over the counter, you can get hydrocortisone, or if you do have a board certified dermatologist that you're seeing, using a topical steroid early on can actually help in the repair of the skin. Now afterwards, you actually get quite a bit of dry skin. You know, you kind of peel afterwards. Yeah. So you want to use good emollients. I usually recommend something that has ceramides, which are sort of natural fats that are in our skin, but get depleted any time mm -hmm. we're sort of burned, inflamed, have eczema, that sort of thing. So things like Cetaphil and CeraVe over the counter actually have those ingredients. So it's like a, what is it, a three-step process? Sort of a three-step process. And then um, there's a couple of things you can do to sort of prevent and then actively treat. So in our office, we have a red diode light called the Heal light it's by Lutronic and it's FDA approved to decrease inflammation so it's used in like orthopedic purposes uh -huh. to help with joint inflammation but we use it on our skin and so when patients come in and have a bad sunburn I actually pop them under that for a few minutes and it really sort of calms down some of the inflammation. Wow, who would have known? I know and then the other thing that I like to recommend for patients there's something called HelioCare which is a fern plant extract and it was um, shown through a clinical study to actually decrease sunburn cells when when taken orally. So actually taking green tea, taking a supplement such as a fern plant, you always want to use sunscreen, but they may sort of decrease some of that ability to actually get a sunburn. It's what I take when I go to Cabo or I'm going out of you town do. or have a long day. I'm going to need this during yeah. the summer. Um, and it's got antioxidants, so it's good for your skin for yes. anti-aging. Yeah, and so that's really important. You know, I talk to patients about sort of basic things, including mm -hmm. sunscreen that you want to do that are the best anti-aging. The things that have the best sort of evidence are number one, a sunscreen about 90% of our wrinkles are caused by ultraviolet light yes. so you can prevent that with good and sunscreen age spots use. and everything else yeah right. and you know you want to supplement with vitamin D and calcium if you are using a sunscreen number two is retinoids so they're a class of vitamin but wait a second derivatives. go back a minute why mm -hmm. did you say have the calcium and vitamin D with a sunscreen what how what are you talking about yeah, there? Explain so there's, to viewers. there's sort of a big debate about vitamin D supplementation so if we're covering our skin which can cause um, you know naturally with sunlight we yeah. can actually produce vitamin vitamin yep. D. If we're covering it, your ability to produce vitamin D might be suppressed a little Can't bit. Can't you get it through your scalp and your hair? You can, but you really don't want to get that. You know, actually about 15 minutes, three times a week will produce enough vitamin D, and most of us are getting that inside and outside of, yeah. you know, work. But you really want to protect your skin. So the American Academy of Dermatology, dermatologists always would rather have you use diet and supplementation to get your vitamin D if it is low, rather than standing right. outside and getting the sun. I love that. I got to tell you, I put all these great braids in my little girl's mm -hmm. hair. Guess what happened? I know she gets burns down the edges Mommy, of them. Yeah, so there's I got a line, her red line. You're right, think I'm a good mother. And I didn't put sunscreen oh. on her scalp with her part. And there's some good treatment creams. There's one by Davinus. Um, we live close to a, a salon, Jet Reese, and they carry this. And it's actually got sunscreen in the cream. So when patients wow. run into that, there's actually preparations that now have sunscreen in conditioning agents.
treatments or agents you put on the hair that can help protect the scalp. Okay, too. let's real quick go over the steps real quick mm -hmm. so people can get it. So acute, get out of the sun. You want to be using sunscreen mm -hmm. beforehand and also think about supplementation to your diet either with something like this fern plant extract or green tea. And then acutely apply some steroids. You want to do cold soaks. If you're having systemic okay, symptoms, you, you want to call your doctor. They cannot get that over the counter. They're going to have to contact their doctor. Hydrocortisone you can. Okay. So 1% hydrocortisone, but something stronger, which is sometimes necessary, you want to call your dermatologist okay. about. And then afterwards, the light. Perfect. <laughs> and then proper skin care afterwards. Perfect. And, and you're saying taking the Advil as well. Absolutely. To decrease the inflammation. Well, we're going to need that formulation this summer, I'm sure. Yeah. It's supposed to be a hot summer. I know. Lots of sunny days. Yep. So, we, you know, you're our anti-aging doctor and we were talking about you're going to be here Friday mm -hmm. to talk about the newest uh, anti-aging yeah. uh, procedure without cutting the skin. So there's a lot that we've done. You know, the, yeah. the world of aesthetic medicine has changed a lot. You know, we used to sort of cut and sort of readjust. But we're not going to tell them what you're going to talk about yeah. because we want them to watch on But Friday. now there's lots of things you can yeah. do minimally invasively, really growing. I mean, 13 million people a year undergo these procedures, and there's a lot you can do to turn back time, look very natural, well, which we all want out. to do. You're going to you're gonna tell me on Friday. You're going to look at my face yeah. and tell me what you can and do. And sort of me. become the Benjamin button. We'll, <laughs> okay. we'll turn back time a little all right, bit. So make sure Sure you, she's going to be back on uh, Friday, so make sure you tune in for that. And thank you so much for the great tips, news that we all can use.